Hello everyone, welcome back to Global Studio YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to perform an assembly analysis in SOLIDWORKS. I have opened a SOLIDWORKS assembly featuring a horizontal I-beam supported by two vertical I-beams connected with a bolt and nut. We will conduct a static analysis to determine if the assembly is safe under the uniformly distributed load. Without any delay, let's dive in. To start the simulation, go to simulation tab in SOLIDWORKS, click on new study, choose static under the type and click OK. As a first step, apply materials to the assembly and parts. Use the apply material option, select AISI1020 and then click apply. Close the window. After finishing the material application, next go to the fixture option. Right click and choose fix geometry and then fix the geometry by selecting both bases of the vertical channels and then click on OK. Once you finish this step, move to external loads, right click to external load and then select force. Apply a force to the top face of the I-beam, set the force value 1000 Newton, make sure the force is acting in downward direction and then click on OK. Once you apply all the external loads, proceed to connections, right click and choose bolt option. Select the type as bolt and under the bolt, select the first option standard or counter bore with nut. Define the circular edges for both bolt head hole and bolt nut hole like this. Keep the material setting as they are. Specify the thread value as 1 mm under the strength data. And then click on OK. Apply this configuration for all the 12 holes. Once all the connections are set for the holes, right click on connections again and then click on contact set. Choose the second option automatically find contact sets and then select all the components. Once you select all the components, click on this find contact sets and then click on OK. The next step is meshing. Click on mesh and select create mesh. Click OK, keep the mesh density as it is and then click on OK to generate the mesh for the assembly. After meshing, click on run study and wait for the analysis to complete. This may take some time. After the analysis is complete, open the results, right click on the result tab and then select the list connector forces. Choose the last option connector force and as you can see here these are all the shear forces, axial forces and bending moment and torque for the each bolt and nut connections. Here you can see all the forces that is acting on the nut and bolt connections. If you want to check the stresses click on stress result and you can see the yield strength is 3.516 into 10 to the power 8. But the maximum stress that beam is undergoing 8.584 into 10 to the power 6. That means this beam is safe. This beam take load up to 3.516 into 10 to the power 8 and at this point this assembly will fail. Go to displacement results and under this displacement result you can see what is the maximum displacement that assembly is undergoing. It is telling 3.505 into 10 to the power minus 2 that means 0 0.03505 mm it is moving. We can say this is completely safe. So using this results tab you can check whether the assembly is safe or not. In conclusion, the analysis indicates that assembly is safe for the applied uniformly distributed load. That's how you can perform assembly analysis in SOLIDWORKS and with this we have reached the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more SOLIDWORKS tips and tutorials. If you have any specific issues you would like us to address in future videos, drop them in comments below. Thank you. We will meet again in the next video. Bye bye.